<laughs> What's up? So, I know I messed my upload schedule just a little bit, but hey, if you're a new person joining, you don't really care about that. So let's get into five simple iOS 14 widgets. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. So I know a lot of people like to have a clean, minimal setup to their iOS 14 apps and widgets and everything, like their home screens, stuff like that. So I actually found this app, it's called Hi There. So what Hi There is, is it's a little greeting that greets you at different times of the day and says like, hi, at this time of the day, like go to bed at this time of the day. You can basically program it to say whatever you want with your name. So if we'll take a look at my phone here, we can see that the Hi There widget is up at the top and we can kind of click it and see the different kind of widgets we can set up for it. So they basically have all these different kinds of customization, but really simple stuff so you don't need to get super in depth. Like my widget tutorial, which I posted a little bit earlier this week, basically has some more in depth stuff and you can customize your widgets and everything like that. But this one has like a lot simpler stuff. You can change the font, you can change the light mode and dark mode, just different stuff like that and put it on your home screen change the phrases you can change their phrases and they got a few different widgets that you can choose from and that's pretty much it it's a simple app um just kind of gets you into the start of it and it's free i mean what more can you ask for from a free app here and it's pretty great you got colors you got different colors you got dark mode light mode everything and yeah that's pretty much it for that app if you want to have a custom greeting at the top of your screen this is basically the way to get it next app is obviously widgie one of my favorites um i'm not going to go super in depth about this app it basically lets you customize your widgets anything that you want. I've talked so much about this app and I even made a tutorial. Click the i card right there. I actually got it right this time. Click the i card right there and it'll actually show you, you know, some of the custom widgets you can get. Next up we have Music View. Now what Music View does is shows what you're playing on Spotify at that current moment. So let's go in and play a song. And you can see that if we look here, the song's playing and all of these skip buttons work. You can skip 30 seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And that's basically it. Now the only downside is this app is 10 bucks. And if you skip a song, it does that. So you see it opens and then closes really quick. It does that, so it opens and closes really quick. So if you really don't want to deal with that, don't get the app. But if you do, like if you're fine with that, I'm fine with that, then that's pretty good. Now with the $5 price tag, this actually plays with Spotify and Apple Music and another service called Last.fm. If you do use Last.fm, then this app will be great. Um, if you don't, I mean, oh well, I guess. Next we have one of the ones I use personally all the time. It's called Sticky Notes. And I'll pull it up right here. So here's my sticky note, it's empty right now. We just click it to edit the note. Brings us right into what sticky note we want. So we hit, it says this note is not created. So create the note and you can say like record video, right? You can change it to a checklist, everything. And this app is super useful here. So on the home screen, it says record video. We got our new sticky note. We can go here, home screen. I really haven't used that feature very much. Anyway, you can add these all like all that you want. You can add a large note and say like add a checklist and do ba da da ba da da ba da da. -da. Okay, save, and then go in here. And actually, this is probably a pretty good placement for it too. You can put the sticky note right behind your giant widget here. Oops. So boom, boom. There we go. And see, there we go, it's placed right behind. It's actually pretty hidden. Like you can't see that anything's there and then you just swipe up, here's a list of apps. And here is my sticky note, so it works pretty well. Lastly, we have Weather Widget Radar. So what this is, is it's a completely customizable weather widget. Now since Widgie doesn't have any like, or weather APIs that you can plug into it, you can't do any fun stuff with weather. So this app basically compensates for that and you get all of these different icons that you can get, like crazy different stuff. Um, like here's like video icons too, pretty crazy. You gotta unlock some of them, which kinda sucks, but most of them, I think you can unlock for free. Uh, so you just gotta go to the free page. There's a few here if you wanna pay for them. You can pay for them if you want. I wouldn't pay for them personally, but if you just want some like cool looking weather ones, this is pretty good. You do have to share it and we'll just message someone, but you can probably just message yourself and get away with that. So message it and there we go. Now we get this one for free, our Christmas one. We hit activate and now we just hit add our new weather widget. Add it to our home screen here. Now we now we got our Christmas widget up at the top here. 
and it works out pretty well. Now, I didn't want to leave you guys hanging because this was pretty quick of a video. I didn't want to leave you guys hanging with just five, so I'm going to include this extra sixth app. And that's basically what's on the bottom here, which is the Launcher app. Now, this app looks really cool. You can add custom things like this map takes me to my home address. Let's blur that out. I didn't realize that that would be on here. Um, and so it'll take me home. Or they have like different ones here. So we got camera, email, YouTube, Snapchat, you got it all. And so it's all hidden behind our widget, which is like pretty good placement. And you can even make tiny apps. So these tiny apps really work. I can open Netflix and I can open Spotify. So it all, it all works really well. And it does cost extra money to get these widgets to look small, but you can just use, like you can make them look big for free like this if you want. So if you want extra big app icons, you can do that just by setting the background as what your wallpaper is just clear and so your widget looks completely clear and that's pretty much it that's it for this video now do keep in mind i'm coming out with an ios 14 setup video which is going to be very good very good uh so subscribe for that